In this video, I'm going to be making a rocking chair from a single 8-foot 2x6. Kind of. Uh, I, I actually completely cheated in this 2x6 video. Um, usually when I make these one board challenge videos, the only real cost is the 2x6, and then maybe a little bit of glue and lacquer and other little stuff that doesn't really add to the cost. But in this one board challenge, um, as well as the one 2x6, I'm also using a ton of rope, if you can already tell from the thumbnail. And I actually greatly underestimated how much rope costs and how much I would need for this project. So this won't be as cheap and easy as the other one board challenge videos, but if you're still interested, I started by cutting two 29 inch sections from the 2x6, then I took the round over off of one side of each of them so I could glue them together into a wider board. And this wider board I just glued up is going to make the curved rockers of the chair. So I mark out an about six inch curve and then I cut that out at the bandsaw. And then once I have that curve cut out, uh, I'm going to glue the pieces back together again, but uh, I'm rearranging the pieces so that I end up with one super wide curved piece. And then from that wide curved piece, uh, I can cut six uh, more narrow curved pieces for the rockers. Now I'm going to use three of the curved pieces to make each of the rockers and I'm laying these pieces out in kind of like a guitar pick shape trying to find the right height to width ratio that I like and then once I find that I mark that out and then I cut these ends at the bandsaw to miter the pieces together. Now I can glue all my pieces together and uh, miters on a piece like this that's going to be handling so much stress really is not going to hold up very well. So once I have these glued together, uh, I'm going to add some nails to hold it better while the glue dries. And then I'm going to cut some splines in each corner to hold it together more permanently. That's it for the rockers, so now I'm going to come back to the 38-ish inches of 2x6 that I have left, and then I'm going to rip that into five 1-inch strips to make the seat and the horizontal supports. And I can take those five strips over the miter saw and cut my pieces to length. These are all my pieces cut to length, and now to just quickly explain, these two are to make the seat, these two are for the seat back, these three are the horizontal supports, and these three are going to make the curved transition pieces from the seat to the back. But for now, I'm going to start by working on connecting the seat to the seat back, which means cutting some joints at the table saw and miter saw. Thank you. 
Now I have all the joints cut in the seat and seat back pieces and I want the transition from the seat to the seat back to be uh, curved. So like I said earlier, I'm going to use those three 17 inch strips, uh, glue those up and then uh, make a couple of sort of transition pieces out of those. Then once I have a couple blocks cut out, I'll cut the sides to fit into the ends of the seat and seat back pieces and glue those in place. Then once the glue dries, I can cut away most of the waste of that block to reveal a nice curve to connect those two pieces. Now I have both of the sides of the seat done, but uh, now I need to connect those sides. And so I'm going to use two of those three 21 inch horizontal support pieces I was talking about earlier. And I'm going to cut some miters on both of the ends of each of those pieces so that they fit on to the seat sides. Now I can glue those together to make the final frame of the seat. And then I'll also throw in some nails in there just to hold it while the glue dries. The last step of building the frame of this rocking chair is really just joining all the parts together. So first, I still have one more of those 21 inch pieces. And I'll use that uh, to connect the two rocker sides at the bottom. So I mark that out and then cut a joint to fit that piece. Then I find where I want my seat to be, and then I mark that out, and then I cut two more pockets uh, to hold the seat in each of those rockers. I can finally fit everything together and all the joints fit together really nicely. And then the final step is to make the rope seat. And this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, wrapping this and actually keeping it tight so that the rope doesn't sag and, you know, collapse in when you sit on it, way harder than I thought. And I actually watched a bunch of videos on how they weave chairs. Obviously, this is a lot uh, more simple than when they weave chairs, but still much more difficult than I thought it would be. And uh, honestly, it did not turn out as well as I thought it would in my head. And that is a lot to do with the fact that, again, this is my first time trying something like this. But uh, it really is something I would want to try again. And I think with enough practice on the next chair that I do with this, uh, I think I could make it look much better.
Also, a nice plus about having the chair seat made out of rope that I really did not think about is that because I have it wrapped in both directions, the rope is going vertical and horizontal on the chair there, um, it really adds a lot of strength. You know, any weight that's put on the chair makes it pull in both directions, and it uh, just evenly distributes that weight a lot better.